So it looks like PS5 has just been announced. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, Lavon Casey, back again with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about PlayStation 5 because it's just been announced today. And plus, why the heck not? I think PlayStation 5 will be released in 2019 instead of 2020, like the majority of gamers want it to be. Because of PSX 2018 being cancelled, I think Sony will have a separate conference for PlayStation 5 in early 2019 showing off the controller, talking about the PS5 tech specs, and I also think too as well people that there will be tech demos showing off the PS5's power as well. You know, showing off the PlayStation 5's cap capabilities and what it can do. Then at E3 2019, they will show off PlayStation 5 games, the PlayStation 5 price, and also other little stuff such as the release date which I think the PS5 will be released in fall of 2019. I think the PS5 as well will also have backwards compatibility with PS4 games and maybe, and yes I am saying maybe, PS1, PS2, and also PS3 games. So that right there should give people the incentive to buy a PlayStation 5 because it can play PS4 games and also as well it can play PS1 games, PS2 games, and PS3 games. Now I can tell you this that it's gonna be backwards compatible with PS4 games. Now, with PS1 and PS2 games, and also PS3 games, that is, that is a maybe. That's a maybe. But if it does happen, it will give people a really, really, really good reason to buy a PS5 because you can play all your past PlayStation games. As far as price range goes, you know, I think it's going to be at least, you know, the minimum price will be 400 and the highest price will be up to 500. All right, so now I'm going to be talking about cross-gen games and I think there will be some cross-gen games such as Last of Us 2 and Death Stranding. Although, I don't know about Death Stranding because I think it will be a 2020 game. And maybe, just maybe uh, a PS5 exclusive? I don't know. I don't know on Death Stranding, I really don't. And also too, for those of you guys out there that bought PS4s this late, Sony and third party will still support the PS4 even after the PS5 comes out. Alright, that's enough of me talking, that's enough of me having this discussion. What do you guys think of PS5 being announced? today and would you guys like to see more gameplay commentary from me Lavon Kaysen let me know in the comment section down below of this video and see you guys later peace